Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me today on Dynamo BIM. On this episode of Dynamo Shorts, we're going to be working with our view templates. If you remember last episode, we actually separated our views and our view templates in the view category because they're both reported with the view category. So today what we're going to do is we're actually going to update our view templates and we're going to tell those view templates to hide a Revit category, a model category. Specifically today, what we're going to be looking at is the site element of the internal origin. You guys maybe realize within the newer versions of Revit, if you upgraded your models, we started to see this internal origin pop up everywhere. We love that we can see the internal origin, but now it's on by default. So all of our upgraded models got the internal origin visible everywhere. So we're going to talk a little bit about how we can utilize Dynamo to turn off this category in all of our view templates so that it isn't visible anywhere except maybe our site plan if we want to see it there. So let's get started. Now, once again, in the last episode of Dynamo Shorts, we got the category of views. We cleaned up that list because remember, we get the null value reported in here. I'm just going to go ahead and switch this to automatic so that it runs. And you can see that we get the null value on line 18 for our project browser. Then we're going to ask our uh, list to be cleaned by not preserving the indices. Then ask our list that has been cleaned whether those items in the list are view templates. Then filter that list by that list of booleans, right? Whether it's a view template or not, true or false. So in this case, we actually want to work with the in list. The view templates, right? Is it a view template? True, yes, it's a view template. So we want to work with that in list here. So essentially what we're going to do is we are going to tell the overrides of this view template to hide the site category of internal origin. So let's look up here the view dot set and let's just see here what we have. We have set scale, set crop box, set discipline, sketch plane, display display style, crop box active, etc. So we have a lot of stuff here. But what we want is we want the category overrides. We want to set the category overrides in terms of what categories are visible or not visible. Then we're going to come in here and we're going to specify which category we want to be invisible, where we want to hide. So in this case, I'm actually going to use the category drop down here and I'm actually going to make it a pink node because I want my user to be able to interface with this to specify the category to hide from view templates. Right, so then my user can come in here and they can specify any category. In this specific scenario, I'm gonna come in and specify the site internal origin. And the override, we just basically need to plug in. We're not gonna add any overrides, we just need to tell it to hide to be true. So we do need a Boolean because if we hover over this, we can see the default value is false. So we're going to make that true. And if we plug all of these in, so in is our view templates. We're going to plug that into our views, our category. You can see it still needs overrides. And you can see it's looking for the override graphic settings. So I'm just going to come up here and look for it. So override with two R's graphic settings. And if I look here, you can see that there's quite a few specifically Revit out of the box. And I actually want by properties. And I'm just going to plug overrides into overrides. And it works. It actually updates all 12 of my view templates to hide the category of site internal origin. So if I minimize Dynamo, you can see 
the internal origin is gone. If I go into my view template here, and look at the model categories under site, type in S, save a little bit of time. You can see that my internal origin is off. Now this could work with any category within Revit. Maybe I want to turn off rooms or furniture or you know whatever it is that I want to turn off here. Um, so let's play around inside of Dynamo, toggling a different category to see if it truly works. If we can truly update different categories so that they are no longer visible. So just because they're colored here, I'm going to go ahead and select rooms because it will be a very dramatic difference for me to turn rooms off to hide them. And you can see it dynamically changes. So every time that I update the category to be a different category, it works just great. Now, a few things that I want to do to update this script before I finish it, before I close off this is first off, I want to group this stuff. So I'm going to come in here and just group these things, um, make them orange because my typical default for anything that's making a transaction in Revit or updating any kind of element or changing anything, creating anything with inside of Revit, I update, update to be orange and I will go ahead and say update view templates. And in addition, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in a watch node so that my users, if they're running this within Dynamo Player, can see really easily what is going on. And I'm going to right click and make that an output. In addition to making it an output, I also need to come in here and tell this um, to be a different name. This node needs to be renamed in order to show up within Dynamo Player. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say view templates, uh, I guess I'll say updated view templates. My typical reporting is gray, so I'll make this gray and just leave that blank because the node says it. Or I could copy the node name into my group name, which is pretty typical for me to do. In addition, I'm going to go ahead and copy the group name into the category name here by doing control A, control C, and pasting that into my node name. However, one other thing I'm going to do is spe specify what this category node was to start with um, because it doesn't uh, tell me an older version. If I right click, I can make this an input. I'm going to save this. And close this out. I'm going to go ahead and undo my two Dynamo uh, tasks here to turn those elements uh, back on uh, the rooms and my site elements just to ensure that I have something to hide within Dynamo Player. Click Edit Inputs and you can see that my script is nicely annotated for the end user. So they can come in, they can specify what it is they'd like to hide within the view templates. In this case, I want to hide these site internal origin elements and run the script and it will display as an output the view templates that were updated. And you can see here, it tells me the 12 view templates that were updated. Uh, and if I look at the view and or the view template, you can see that the site internal origin is no longer turned on as a model category. Thank you so much for watching today on Dynamo BIM. Please make sure you like this video if you found it useful and subscribe if you haven't already.